Hello everyone, welcome to PEMIS e-learning channel. In this video, we are going to solve a different type of problem on parallel force system. So on the previous video, if you have seen on the parallel force system, we have solved the problem on all the vertical forces which is our parallel. So in this problem, we have all the forces horizontal. So to solve this, so again, so we have to find out the resultant of the parallel force and we have to locate that resultant with respect to point O. Okay. So in this problem, they have given the forces which is acting on a circular sphere or circular rod and uh, at an some an angle. So first of all, the radius of that circle is somewhat 1 meter, so they have given the radius of the circle is 1 meter and we have to find out the distance of all the forces from point O. So to find out the forces about point O, so what we can do is, so we can draw a perpendicular line. Okay. So, if you draw this perpendicular line, what we get is a triangle. So, they have the 60 degree and the force is acting like this 100. So, if you want to know the height, this is this hypotenuse is 1 meter. So, we have to find out this height. Okay. So, we can apply sin theta. Sin theta will be is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. So, we know 60 theta is 60 over here. So, we are concerned about the opposite side. So, opposite side will be equal to sin 60 into hypotenuse that is 1 meter. And if I put sin 60 on the calculator, I will get as this opposite side is 0 0.866 meter. So, this opposite side is 0 0.866 meter for this particular this thing. And similarly, if you draw the perpendicular height for this thing, so we have to draw again a draw small triangle which is acting like this. Here this is 45 degree. In a similar manner we can find out the opposite for this as well. So I am taking uh, this is also 45 sin 45 degree into 1 meter which is equal to this opposite side. So, this opposite side for this particular triangle is sin 45 which is 0 0.77 meter and in this diagram again if you draw the perpendicular line, so both the triangle has the same 30 degree. So, I will just solve only once. So, again for this particular diagram it is 30 degree, this is 1 meter and we have to concern about this thing. So, if I take a sin theta, sin 30 degree into 1 meter and that will be the opposite side, this side, opposite side. So, sin 30 is 0.5. So, this opposite side is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meter. So, almost we found all the uh, distance from point O. So, now we can redraw the diagram. So, like this we can redraw. So, this is our quadrant, right. This is our starting point O. So, this 100 Newton is acting at a distance of 0 0.866 meter from point O. So, we can draw a line of like this 100 Newton and this could be the distance. The distance is something 0 0.866 and we have one other force that is 50 Newton which is below the O and this is also acting away. The distance for this thing is 0 0.7 meter. So, this is 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.707 meter and the second force 
which is acting 80 Newton. So, I will write it over here, I will draw it like this 80 Newton and the bottom force is also acting 150 Newton. This is 150 Newton. So, now the distance for this is 0.5 meter and this is also 0.5 meter. So, we have converted this into a simpler diagram. Now, we can find out the resultant force and we can locate it. So, we know that in parallel force system, the resultant force is nothing but the summation of all forces. So, summation of all forces here, we have all the horizontal forces that is 100 Newton, which is acting from uh, left right to left. So, it is negative and we have this 80 Newton also, it is acting from right to left. So, minus 80. Now, we have this 150 Newton, which is acting from right left to right. So, positive 150 and this force. So, sorry, I did not mention about this force is 50 Newton. So, this is 50 Newton is acting from right to left. So, it is also negative. So, if you calculate this thing, we will get the value as minus 80 Newton. So, this is equal to my 80 Newton, the direction could be from right to left. So, we found out the resultant. Now, we are concerned about the moment. So, summation of moment about point O. So, you have to take the moment about point O and if you are focusing upon this point under Newton. So, here the force is the here the force is horizontal. So, the distance will be vertical. So, about the point O, this is acting as a anti clockwise. Okay. So, this will be positive. So, 100 into the vertical distance is 0 0.866. Now, again, so we have one more force that is 80 Newton. So, about the point O, about the point O, this is also a anti clockwise direction. So, 80 into positive 80 into 0.5. So, here this is the distance 18 to 0.5. Now, now about this 50 Newton, this 50 Newton is making an clockwise direction about the point O. It is a clockwise direction and the distance is 0 0.7. So, negative of 50 into 0 0.707. Now, the fourth force that is 150 Newton. So, 150 Newton is making an anti clockwise about point O. So, positive of 150 into 0.5 meter. So, I hope you understood the sign convention and all. So, if you put the in the calculator, we will get the summation of moment about 0 0.2 will be equal to 1665.25 Newton meter. So, which is a positive. So, we will get it as a anti clockwise direction. So, in the same question, we have to locate this resultant with respect to, we have to locate this resultant with respect to point O, right. So, we know that one formula that is, if you want to locate, we have to use the Varigon theorem about the position. So, we have to apply, applying Varigon theorem to find the position. So, the formula for this Varigon theorem is, summation of moment about point O will be equal to resultant into distance. So, we are concerned about the distance. So, distance will be equal to D is equal to summation of moment about point O divided by the resultant. So, summation of moment is 166.25 and the resultant is acting downward which is a negative but sorry acting from right to left which is a negative. So, we can take only the positive value 80. So, if you calculate it, D will be equal to 2.078 meter. So, now we found out the distance as well. So, we can draw redraw the diagram. So, this is a y axis and x axis. The resultant is acting from right to left. So, it is a 80 Newton, 80 Newton and the distance we found out as 2.078 meter. This is the point 0 right and this is equal to d. So, I hope you understood this uh, type of problem. I hope to see you in next lecture. Thank you.